What is up guys, Alex here back with episode number 11 and I wanted to show you guys a feature that I came across while messing around in Sony Vegas. So this feature is called Quantize the Frames and this feature is on by default in Sony Vegas and it's also featured in a lot of other video editing programs such as Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro. And I will show you why this feature can cause some problems for video editors in their uh, video projects. So if you take your cursor and place it over the timeline and zoom in on your video, you're going to see these little white markers. And these little white markers are the frame indicators, meaning they represent each frame of the video. Now if I wanted to, say for some reason, cut in between each frame of the video, you're going to notice that when I click in between the areas of each frame indicator, it's going to go on to the next available frame instead of in between the frames. Another example is that if I wanted to, say for an example, uh, drag the second video clip over to this marker, as you can see it's placed between two frame indicators. If I try and drag it towards the marker, again it's going to go to the next available frame instead of right exactly at the marker. So this can be a problem for some video editors and to fix this, you have to go into your options and make sure quantize the frames is unchecked or use the shortcut Alt plus F8. Now once you uncheck it, you can finally have the freedom to move your video clip without the video having to snap to each frame. See I can move it towards the marker and I can now cut in between each frame indicator. So that's the end of this quick tip episode. If you want to see any more episodes featuring uh, any of the small features in Sony Vegas, feel free to post your suggestions down in the comments down below and I will see you guys next time.